The 1999 NRL Grand Final really did have just about everything. The match was being held in the newly built Stadium Australia, two incredible skillful teams giving it their all for the full 80 minutes, and a controversial decision that will go down in history as one of the most difficult decisions to be made by the video referee as it would ultimately decide the match. The Storm defeated the Dragons 20-18 thanks to a game-winning penalty try from Craig Smith and a Matt Guy conversion to win the game. So, this is Greatest Game of All, and these are 5 interesting facts about the 1999 Grand Final. Number 5, Craig Smith vs Craig Smith. For the first time in NRL Grand Final history, two players with the exact same first and last name played against each other. St George's Craig Smith was a front rower who played 153 NRL games and represented Queensland in the 1997 State of Origin series. Melbourne's Craig Smith only played 22 games and as we know, he scored the game winning penalty try with just over 3 minutes remaining. He was also the Storm's goal kicker for this match and would have attempted to convert the try himself if he wasn't injured from that high tackle. Number 4, Craig Fitzgibbon scored the first try coming off the bench. Bench forward Craig Fitzgibbon wore the jersey number 14 for the Dragons and came on in the 11th minute. Only 2 minutes later he scored the opening try of the match thanks to an Anthony Mundine kick. He is still the only person to score the first try in an NRL Grand Final starting from the bench. Number 3, Zero Dally M Awards. For the first and only time in NRL history, zero players from the winning team won an award at the Dalian Awards. Andrew Johns won the Dalian medal itself, and Nathan Blacklock was the only player in the match to have won a Dalian award, winning winger of the year. Number 2, it was the biggest crowd in NRL Grand Final history. Most people will probably already know about this, but 107,999 people packed out Stadium Australia to watch this great grand final, with the stadium being built for the 2000 Sydney Olympics. It was the largest grand final crowd in grand final history and only the second largest in the stadium's history for non-Olympic events, just behind Australia vs New Zealand in the Tri-Nation series in 2000, which had just over 109,874. And number 1, it was the biggest comeback in NRL Grand Final history. The Dragons took a 14-0 lead in the 30th minute thanks to an incredible Nathan Blacklock try. 14 points was the difference and the Storm were able to come back to win the game 20-18. The Dragons also had a 12 point lead with 22 minutes remaining, with the Storm scoring 14 unanswered points to win the game. Whichever way you want to look at it, it was the biggest comeback in NRL Grand Final history. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chuck us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.